हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू एन एक्साइटिंग अपडेट दैट्स ऑल अबाउट मेकिंग योर वर्क विथ चैट जीपीटी फोर एंड स्प्रेडशीट एज सिंपल एंड पावरफुल नो कोडिंग एक्सपीरियंस इज रिक्वायर्ड माय नेम इज आशीष एंड आई एम 15 इयर्स एक्सपीरियंस प्रोग्रामर एंड एप स्क्रिप्ट डेवलपर आई एम हियर टू पुट सम एफर्ट्स इन टू एडवांस ए ऑटोमेशन फॉर योर टीम्स Today we are diving into a special tool that is going to transform how you use ChatGPT 4 and DALL-E 3. You will be in advanced level of ChatGPT 4 and app scripts, image generation and building dynamic prompts with ultimate power. This tool is like a special weapon for anyone looking to create incredible images with DALL-E 3 or to generate smart and powerful content with ChatGPT 4. it is designed to make these advanced technology accessible and easy for everyone no matter what is your skill level and yes you heard me right it is going to generate images you don't need to be a techie to use this we have made everything straight forward and user friendly this means you can focus on creating and innovating without getting backed down by complicated processes It's all about bringing your ideas to life easily and quickly. Whether you are working on creating stunning visual for your projects, writing articles or even coding, this tool is here to support you. It's flexible adapting to your needs whether you are using ChatGPT 4 for its advanced conversation abilities or DALL-E 3 for its incredible image generation capabilities. And there is no need to worry about losing track of your work. This tool keeps a record of everything so you can always look back at what you are creating and you can find inspiration work for your next project. Get ready to unlock the full potential of ChatGPT 4 and DALL-E 3 with this powerful and free app script. To initiate the operation, first, open up a Google spreadsheet and give it an appropriate name like we have given, AI spreadsheet, automation to our sheet. Then go to the extension option and click on the app script button. Also, give it to the point name to this project and paste the whole script into the coding section of the app script page. Next to this, you need to save the project by clicking on the save project button to execute further steps. Once it gets saved, now click on the run button and authorize all permissions by clicking on the review permission button with the suitable email ID. As you can see here, the execution has been started and completed as well within the time of just a few seconds. Now, we will create the triggers so that we can simply get responses for whatever we will edit on the sheet. For this, go to the trigger button showing on the side panel next to the clock icon and add the triggers. Once the trigger dashboard has been opened to you, now we will click on the add trigger button showing in the bottom right corner. Here, we will select the add edit option in the function head in deployment. from spreadsheet in the event source and on edit in the event type and we'll click on the save button now we'll go back again to the coding section and click again on the run button plus you will see the execution process will start over again and be completed in a few seconds as you can see here an automated google sheet has been generated with three more subsheets with the names pr1 pr2 and pr3 with the required details Hence, you need to start the operation from the PR3 subsheet since the API integration process has been mentioned only in that section. To complete the integration process via API, you first need to have the API key. For this, you need to search platform.openai.com in a new tab and click on API keys showing on the side panel next to the lock icon. From here, you need to go to plus create new secret key option and click on create secret key button by mentioning the sheet name there. As you will click on create secret key button, the API key will be generated. Hence, you need to copy the key by clicking on the copy option and then clicking on the done button. As you copy the key, the API key copied notification will display at the top of the screen. Next to this, go back to the sheet and paste the key in the C2 cell. You are allowed to use these models of the AI chatbot for different requirements. For example, as a free version, you can use GPT-3 or GPT-based to generate text-based content and DALL-E 2 models of ChatGPT to generate image-based content. Meanwhile, as the paid version, you can use GPT-3.5, GPT-3.5 Turbo, 
GPT-4 and GPT-4.5 Turbo to generate more enhanced, natural, capable, and more liable content and DALL-E 3 models of ChatGPT to generate a more realistic and potential image. Further, you need to put the selected model and version of the ChatGPT in the A2 cell. Once it's done, now you need to move to the PR1 subsheet to execute further functions. As the PR1 subsheet has been opened, you need to give the command or prompt like you give to the ChatGPT. For this, you need to put one for text and two for the image in the A2 cell and have to give your prompt in the B2 cell. This is because, the trigger we have created works only on edit mode that means you have to edit the B2 cell's content and have to click in any other cell to generate every new response. Within this AI response generated Google Sheet, you will not only get output for your input, but also will get to know about the format in which ChatGPT accepts your prompt. For example, here, we have put one in the A2 cell to get text-based content and have given prompts in the B2 cell. Now you will see that the actual prompt or format of your input that the chat GPT will take will get updated in B3 cell and the text-based generated response will be entered in the C3 cell along with its date and time in the A3 cell. Once it's done, we will give the prompt once again to get image-based content. For this, we will first put two in the A2 cell to get image-based content, change our prompt in the B2 cell. When we click on any other cell, the format of the input text that ChatGPT takes will automatically get updated in the B4 cell, and the link-based response gets updated in the C4 cell along with the date and time in the A4 cell. Here, we got the link-based response since we gave command 2 in the A4 cell to generate image-based content. Hence, as you will open this link-based response, you will get the image-based content as an output. Not only this, but we have more features for this. Let's explore the PR2 subsheets. As you can see, here we have created three columns. One is prompt type in which you have put the numbers like one for text, two for image, three for SEO content, four for code, five for slug, and so on. If you will choose four and will put one, then you will get the text-based response for your code-based input. While if you will choose four and will give prompt two, then you will get the image-based response for your code-based input. From the second column, you will get to know what category of content that you are going to get from your spreadsheet-based chat GPT such as slug, code, SEO content, PHP, Java, and more. In the third column, you can categorize the content, such as I want response only in code and instructions without any comments, long explanation, and more. You just need to put your required number in the C2 cell, such as one for text, two for image, and more. For example, we have given three numbers in the C2 cell and PR2 subsheets that denote SEO content. Next, we will go back again to the PR1 subsheets and will change our prompt in the B2 cell and will click in any other cell. As you can see here that the format of the content that ChatGPT will take gets updated in the B5 cell, the generated response in the C5 cell, and the date and time in the A5 cell. Here, you will find that the generated response is in link format. This is because you have given two commands in the A2 cell, which means the generated response is in image-based content. For more clarity, we will repeat this process, but this time, we will change the command in the A2 cell and will make it from 1 instead of 2. Hence, we will give two numbers in the A2 cell and put ChatGPT again in the B2 cell. You can see that this time, we will get the text-based response in the C6 cell along with the same functions in B6 and A6 cell. Now, we will go to the PR2 subsheets and will choose the what category of content we are going to take for showing in next response, such as slug, PHP, SEO-based, code, etc. and we'll come back to the PR1 subsheet. As we have chosen four numbers to get code-based content, hence we will give a prompt in the B2 cell as two numbers in code Java. You will see that the generated output has been updated in the C7 cell in the response column, along with the other updated functions in the B7 cell and A7 cell. Next to this, we will replace the prompt again, SEO friendly slug for social media with promotion with three to four lines messages and five hashtags and last, in the B2 cell to generate SEO based content and click on any other cell. You can see the result that the automated AI generated response has been updated in the C8 cell together with other updated content in B8 and A8 cells. You're also allowed to change the sequence of the content category like if you want to get the image on 2, PHP on 6, SEO content on 1, and more than you can also do. For example, we have mentioned six images in the Prairie 2 subsheet and we'll take it for our next response generation. Now, we will go back to our PR1 subsheet and we'll change the command in the A2 cell from 1 to 2 and replace the prompt with YouTube in the B2 cell. 
As we will click in any other cell, you can see that the AI-generated response has been updated in the C9 cell along with other formalities in the B9 and A9 cells. Here, you can see that the quality of the generated image-based content is not as much good. Therefore, you can make it better by going back to the PR3 subsheet and by changing the model of your chat GPT with the premium versions, whether for text or for image. If you want to get access to the free Google Apps Script code, then click on the I button and land directly to our blog post. Hence, download the Apps Script code from the ending section of the blog post. Therefore, you can make it better by going back to the PR3 subsheet and by changing the model of your chat GPT, whether for text or for image. You just need to put your required model of the chat GPT in the A2 cell to make it active. Apart from this, you are also allowed to add the new more category of the content in PR2 subsheet such as here we have added sales category in the B8 cell and have added its command cars in the C8 cell. Next to this, we will come back in the PR1 subsheet and will change command 1 from 2 in the A2 cell as well as will replace the prompt with cars in the B2 cell. As we will click in any other cell, you will see that the AI-generated response has been updated in the C10 cell along with other content in the B10 cells and A10 cells. Now, you will see that in the response, we got a link this is because we have given the 6 number in the C2 cell in the PR2 subsheet that works for image generation. Hence, for this, we will put 8 numbers in the C2 cell of the PR2 subsheet that denotes the sales category in the C8 cell of the same subsheet. For a cross-check, we will go back to the PR1 subsheet and replace the prompt with top 10 cars in 2024 in the B2 cell. As you will click in any other cell, the automated responses will get updated in the C11 cell. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.